Hi, Right Riders. Thank you so much for joining me. Cruz here. In this video, back by popular demand, we're going to be looking at an AccuPlacer right placer prompt. It seems like the sample prompt that I did had uh, more than 2,000 views, it had more than 50 likes. And several of you subscribed to the channel, uh, to my channel, to our channel, after watching the video. And so I am going to go ahead and do another AccuPlacer right placer practice with you. What I did find, students, is that, and I, I did not realize this, but depending on what state you live in, the amount of time you have for the AccuPlacer right placer essay will vary. So I've noticed like some states, it may be 40 minutes and I've seen 40 minutes in states like Massachusetts, uh, community colleges and community colleges in Pennsylvania, where you have only 40 minutes to write an essay. I've seen 50 minutes in other states and then I've seen 60 minutes in other states and then I've seen unlimited time in other state community colleges. I had no idea that it actually varied from state to state. So depending on the state you live in may dictate how much time you have for the AccuPlacer Right Placer essay. And I share this with you students because if you live very close or near to other states, you may decide you know, to take advantage of that difference um, by driving an extra 30 minutes or an hour and taking the AccuPlacer in another state community college and then using those scores uh, in your own state. I, I believe that that could be possible. I live in Northwest Alabama and I live very close to Tennessee and Mississippi. And if I'm a college student and I see that in Alabama, I have 50 minutes of time to write an essay. But if I just drive over to Mississippi and I get an hour or I go to Tennessee and I have unlimited, unlimited time for my essay, um, I think I'm going to go for the unlimited time because again, that could, that's the difference between me being able to take ENC 1101 and not having to take these extra remedial classes and paying for them. So for me, it would be worth the drive because I will save myself hundreds, if not thousands of dollars by doing that. So I highly encourage you students. Um, again, I did not realize that, but I encourage you to please check, um, check your local community colleges, see uh, which ones provide extra time, research that and or also check to see if states nearby and if you live in an area that is bordering another state check to see what their local community colleges require for accuplacer to see if you may um, again pro get provided that extra time so that you have a, a a better chance of not having to take remedial courses. With that in mind, because the shortest amount of time that I've seen is 40 minutes, I am going to do this uh, AccuPlacer Right Placer practice essay in 40 minutes. Again, the, the amount of words does not change, so it's still 300 to 600 words for an essay but what has changed or what is different is the amount of time you have to do it. So in this video, I have my phone set up here and I'm setting a 40 minute timer. Um, I did go ahead and copy a sample prompt, which you see here. And I can assure you, right writers, I have not, I literally just copied and pasted it. I have not read it. Um, and so I don't know what I'm going into because I want this to feel as authentic as possible with you so that you see what a trained English teacher can do in 40 minutes. So I will start the timer at 40 minutes and then when the timer goes off, right writers, I will definitely let you know, hey, 40 minutes is up 
And then what I will do is I will add an extra 10 minutes because again, some states it's 50 minutes of writing and then I will edit my work based on 50 minutes and then some states are 60 minutes of writing and then I'll go back and add another 10 minutes and see how the essay changed based on 40 minutes to 50 minutes to 60 minutes. And what I'm trying to do is really simulate the testing environment. And so if you are watching this video and you're like, I want to do this with her. So, you know, feel free. I mean, I'm going to be talking it out as, as I work through it. Um, and feel free to do that with me and see, um, notice the difference, you know, compare and contrast whatever it is um, that you would like to do, you know, I encourage you to do it. But any, any way that you can time yourself, I think it gives you an advantage because it puts you under pressure and it really forces you to see what is, what you are capable of doing under time, um, under a timed environment. So with that said, right, writers, I apologize for the really long introduction, but I needed to get some stuff out um, before I, I launched into this. So again, timer's going to start. Haven't read the passage or the prompt itself. And I'll, again, under the 40 minutes, that's all you have. So here we go. All right, sample prompt passage. An actor, when his cue came, when, was unable to move onto the stage. He said, I can't get in. I can't get in. The chair is in the way. The producer said, use the difficulty. If it's drama, pick the chair up and smash it. If it's comedy, fall over it. From this experience, the actor concluded that in any negative situation in life, there is something positive you can do with it. Adapted from Lawrence Eisenberg, Kane Scrutiny. Okay, I'm going to read that again because honestly, I really didn't. I mean, I, that was just first read. Yes, I know my timer's going, but I'm going to read that again. An actor, when his cue came, was unable to move onto the stage. He said, quote, I can't get in. I can't get in. The chair is in the way, unquote. Then the producer comes back with, quote, use the difficulty. If it's drama, pick the chair up and smash it. If it's comedy, fall over it. And his quote, from this experience, the actor concluded that in any negative, negative situation in life, there is something positive you can do with it. Adapted from Lawrence Eisenberg, Kane Scrutiny. Okay, so I know who wrote basically that section and, um, or that little passage, and it came from Kane Scrutiny. I definitely want to make sure that I use that. The assignment is, technically, the prompt is, can any obstacle or disadvantage be turned into something good or something positive? So really, here is my prompt, and... Um, I'm going to be using the passage to support um, or disprove this uh, prompt. So, you know, again, this is, a, it seems like it's a persuasive essay. And I, I definitely believe that an obstacle or disadvantages can be turned into something positive. So I am going to um, be going, um, I am supporting the prompt. Um, so I'm going to support the prompt and say uh, yes and go ahead and make my thesis here. So yes, I do believe any obstacle or disadvantage. Can be turned into something positive. So here is basically my argument. Now I'm going to think of some examples.
and I'm going to, you know, think about some things from a high school perspective. You know, some of these are not, you know, and they come from even my own life and or not personally my own life, but perhaps like family members and things like that. So um, I can definitely say, um, and I'm going to go with something that happened uh, with one of my family members. So I'm going to talk about um, uh, being charged with a DUI or in the States uh, driving under the influence. and how that may lead someone to therapy. I can say, you know, something like getting the help they need. I'm at 35 minutes, right, writers? Uh, being diagnosed. with a life-threatening illness. And that leading to living a more fulfilling life. based on uh, family and friends. Community, rather than, you know, buying stuff. Um, I don't know anyone who's like, hey, you have cancer. Yeah, I'm going to go shopping now. <laughs> um, but I don't know. Maybe someone will. Maybe someone's like, charge up the credit cards. Um, let's see. So I've, I'm at 33 minutes, and I'm going to see if I can come up maybe with one more. Um, and this time, you know, I may try to look at the opposing uh, side. And so that's looking at someone who would say um no that someone who would disagree with the with my argument so and again i think i'll use the same examples that i have within the being charged with the DUI and that could lead someone down a path of more drinking and less opportunities. and lead someone down a path, again, of being uh, diagnosed with a life-threatening illness, um, a path of um, depression. 
isolation and uh, depression. Depression. And now I, I definitely want to find a way to bring in the passage. So an actor, when his cue came, was unable to move onto the stage. He said, I can't get in the in. The chair is in the way. The producer said, use the difficulty. Uh, if it's drama, pick the chair up and smash it. If it's comedy, fall over it. From this experience, the actor concluded that in any negative situation in life, there is something positive you can do with it. Um, and so you know really it's about our ability to so I think I'm going to focus on what the producer said which is use the difficulty right here so this part right here um, control C and then I'm going to bring that down here so and say something like um, Lawrence Eisenberg Um, supports when the producer says, you know, use the difficulty. And I can tell you, I can assure you, right, writers, I'm going to fix that, um, how I've quoted it here. Okay, so now I've sort of got some ideas with some examples, and I need basically like my introduction. And I need a body paragraph uh, with my example supporting it. Then I'm going to have my opposing or opposition or counter argument really is a better term to use. And using the same example, examples that I have. And then I'm going to have my conclusion. All right, so now I've got 27 minutes and 47 seconds. Um, okay, so I already know where I'm going with the DUI and the, you know, life-threatening illness. So I can sort of start with that, of this idea of, um, you know, I guess, because I don't want to start with a cliche of like, oh, do you see the glass is half empty or half full? Um, and so, you know, uh, I guess I'll start with the driving under the influence or getting a DUI. Um, and that is um, something like, you know, imagine...
having to call your parents. at three in the morning telling them that you've been And maybe I'll just say calling instead of having to call. Imagine calling your parents at three in the morning. To tell them that you have been arrested. for drinking and driving. Perhaps you can hear the gasp at the other end of the call. Or the immediate sobs. Perhaps you can hear the gasp at the other end of the call or the immediate sobs. from your mother. Imagine calling your parents at three in the morning to tell them that you have been arrested for drinking and driving. Perhaps you can hear the gasps at the other end of the call or the immediate sobs from your mother. No one No one says When I grow up I'm going to have a DUI on my driving record. However, and this is not really a mistake. It seems a little bit more heavy than that. Um, and so no one says when I grow up, I want to have a DUI on my driving record. However, maybe instead of teenagers, however, young people,
However, many young people find themselves making that call. In this situation, how do you turn that unfortunate obstacle permanent obstacle into something positive. It looks like I'm definitely going to um, in this situation, how do you turn that permanent obstacle into something positive? So going back to the original prompt, I'm at 19 minutes, right, writers? And you're like, uh, how are you going to get this done? Let's see, can any obstacle be turned into something good? So I've sort of left it hanging, and so let's see, it seems like I've gone down the path of the DUI, so I'm just going to ride that one um, and let it go from there. Imagine calling your parents at 3 in the morning to tell them that you've been arrested for drinking and driving. Perhaps you can hear the gasps at the other end of the call or the immediate sobs from your mother. No one says, when I grew up, I want to have a DUI on my driving record. However, many young people find themselves making that call. In this situation, how do you turn that permanent obstacle into something positive? And I'm going to go ahead and move this down, right, writers? Just so it can all be basically on, like, one page. So... You can flip the script on that DUI. You can flip the script on that DUI by holding yourself accountable. To the actions holding yourself accountable to the decision you made you can flip the script on that DUI by holding yourself accountable to the decision you made Take ownership of your judgment error or your error in judgment.
Take ownership of your error in judgment. You can flip the script on that DUI by holding yourself accountable to the decision you made. Take ownership of your error in judgment. 16 seconds, right, riders? Take ownership of your actions. Ask for forgiveness. You can flip the script on that DUI by holding yourself accountable to the decision you made. You can flip the script on that DUI by holding yourself accountable to the decision you made. Take ownership of your actions and ask for forgiveness. Later, you may choose to go to therapy. Perhaps your DUI stems from something From some unconscious, I'm trying to think, uh, I've got 13 minutes. You can flip the script on that DUI by holding yourself accountable to the decision you made. Take ownership of your actions and ask for uh, forgiveness. Okay, I'm going to fix this because I'm, I'm going holding and then I go take ownership. And I want to make sure it's the same. Perhaps your DUI stems from something from a deeper issue. Mental health issue. that you have chosen to perhaps your DUI stems from a deeper mental health issue that you have chosen to bury that you have chosen um, that, that you chose to ignore. Maybe I'll put here that up until now, 
you chose to ignore. Eleven minutes. Uh, negative disadvantage. Okay. Um, let's see. Hence, you have opportunities. To turn obstacles and two positive growth. Now the counter argument, I've got nine minutes, would be that going the other way, so saying something like um, however, you could make that DUI at DUI to serve as an excuse to serve as a lifelong excuse for why You could allow that DUI to serve as a lifelong excuse for why, as an excuse for why your life is not what it could have been. However, you could allow that DUI to serve as an excuse for why your life is not what it could have been. Instead, the spiral, you chose to spiral. into more substance abuse spiral down a path of more substance abuse and 
riddled with pity, guilt, shame, and self-loathing. Okay, five minutes. Now I'm going to start to remove right riders, my um, distinctions here. And, you know, who's to say, again, what the score would be? I mean, you know, you want to, obviously, depending on the community colleges, some require, I think most of them, it seems like six is the magic number to get you into ENC 1101. Um, and so, again, this is under 40 minutes here. So let's take a quick look at the entire um, essay so far and see how it's going. Imagine calling your parents at three in the morning to tell them that you have been arrested for drinking and driving. Perhaps you can hear the gasps at the other end of the call or the immediate sobs from your mother. No one says, when I grow up, I want, I want to have a DUI on my driving record. However, many young people, uh, maybe not many, some young people find themselves making that call. In this situation, how do you turn that permanent obstacle into something positive? You can flip the script on that DUI. Well, you can flip the script on that DUI. Hold yourself accountable to the negative decision you made. Take ownership of your actions and ask for forgiveness. Later, you may choose to go to therapy. Perhaps your DUI stems from a deeper mental health issue that, up until now, you chose to ignore. Hence, you have, hence, you created opportunities. Hence, you created an, an obstacle. Hence, you transformed an obstacle. into an opportunity for positive growth. However, you could, you could allow that DUI to serve as an excuse for why your life is not what it could have, what it could have been. Instead, you chose to spiral down a path of more substance abuse Instead, you chose to spiral down a path of more substance abuse, riddled with pity, guilt, shame, and self-loathing. Okay. Now, let's see. Um... Two minutes and 39 seconds. Instead, you chose to spiral down a path of more substance abuse, riddled with pity, guilt, shame, and self-loathing. Apparently, I'm going back to that decide part. Apparently, use the difficulty. Apparently, you did not learn You did not use the difficulty. To your advantage. One minute and 26 seconds.
No one said, okay, so one minute and three seconds remaining, right, writers? At this point, this um, counter argument is going to end up serving as my um, ending paragraph here. Apparently, you did not use the difficulty to your advantage. Thirty seven seconds. We all fail at some point or another. Twenty seconds. Face failures in life. Twelve seconds. And that's my timer, right, writers? Now, I'm going to go ahead and give myself just a couple seconds to close this sentence out um, because uh, I was talking throughout the whole thing. So we all face failures in life, hopefully. We view them We all face failures in life. The question is whether you will view them Or maybe I will say obstacles, so obstacles in life. Stumbling box. Or opportunities. Okay, right, writers. So this is what I've got at 40 minutes. I mean, again, I gave myself just like a little extra time, maybe another like 60 seconds. You know, it's really not a lot of time. And part of that time is looking at the passage itself and examining, you know, I mean, what's the prompt? What does it say? You know, you you got to have enough time to read through this. You want to give yourself enough time to read through this, go through it carefully. Um, and I know a lot of time I took to create this sort of uh, pseudo outline. And then one of them I didn't even end up using. Um, okay, let's take a look at our paragraph. And then, you know, then I will um, go ahead and continue with a 50 minute version that will be a separate video and then i'll take it up to a one hour video which will be another video the following week um and then i want to see i don't even know how many words this is because it's supposed to be 300 to 600 words um and i did not even check that yet so i should probably do that right now and see how many words do i have um and boy i'm i'm really hoping that it's closer to four or five hundred um, ooh, 214. Not good. I didn't even make the 300 um, minimum. So definitely not good, <laughs> right, writers? Um, took way too long on the um, on the outline and should have probably just jumped right in. Um, and so and and or stopped at the DUI and added more information. Um, you know, 214 words 
not going to cut it. I mean, you've got a minimum of 300 to 600 and I didn't even hit that mark. So um, this was uh, a failure uh, ultimately, right writers? So let me go ahead and write that down. And that would be a big fail. Big failure there. So let's still take a look at what we have. And then, like I said, we'll add the time. Um, so as you can see, right, writers, I mean, and we can go back and look at, okay, where did the mistakes happen under the 40 minute clock? So let's take a look one more time again, right, writers. Imagine calling your parents at three in the morning to tell them that you have been arrested for drinking and driving. Perhaps you can hear the gasps at the other end of the call or the immediate sobs from your mother. No one says when I grow up, I want to have a DUI on my driving record. However, some young people find themselves making that that call. In this situation, how do you turn that permanent obstacle into something positive? Well, you can flip the script on that DUI. Hold yourself accountable to the negative decision you made. Take ownership of your actions and ask for forgiveness. Later, you may choose to go to therapy. Perhaps your DUI stems from a deeper mental health issue that, up until now, you chose to ignore. Hence, you transformed an obstacle in a, into an opportunity for positive growth. However, you could allow that DUI to serve as an excuse for why your life is not what it could have been. Instead, you chose to spiral down a path of more substance abuse, riddled with pity, guilt, shame, and self-loathing. Apparently, you did not use the difficulty to your advantage. We all face obstacles in life. The question is whether you will view them as, stumble, as stumbling blocks or opportunities. Okay, so, uh, you know, the big fail on this, right, writers, and, and I don't mind, you know, posting this video and just recognizing that this is a failure because, you know, we can see what I did wrong. Um, and what I did wrong or, you know, where I made my mistake was I spent way too much time um, coming up with too many examples to support what I was going to say, but I am not going to downplay the importance of making sure that I read the passage correctly in the assignment. That I do not regret. What I do regret is that I took too much time in the outline. So if you've got 40 minutes, what I would say is you do not have time to come up with two separate examples. Had I just stopped at being charged with a DUI, lead someone to get in therapy and then led someone down a path of more drinking and less opportunities, I would definitely have had enough time to construct a more than 300 word essay under the time constraints. So what I can say, right writers, is that if you are given 40 minutes, you probably should not be using, you should probably just use one example. But go deep in that one example. Go deep, provide some imagery, you know, give more information about that situation rather than coming up with too many examples and creating um, what I could, you know, what would be sort of like a surface level essay where you just, you sort of, I, you know, I, when I teach, I call it water skiing. So you don't want to be jet skiing and water skiing on your topic. You want to you want to be snorkeling slash deep sea diving. Um, and that's something I, I learned at a workshop, you know, teaching students how to how to scuba dive in their writing. Better to go deep than to go shallow, uh, broad and shallow. So it's it's much more interesting for the reader. And so that's what I should have done. I should have stopped right when I had that DUI example and then created a super, you know, a superb, a super essay from that experience. And again, and I, I brought this experience up because, you know, I have had family members with DUIs. And so, you know, I think, you know, I think substance abuse, I mean, maybe it's prescription drugs. Uh, for a lot of people now, but, you know, substance abuse is a big issue um, in society and in the United States. And so um, I just went ahead and went with it and I should have just stuck with that. I think that would have provided enough time that 40 minutes. 
So uh, with that said, Right Riders, I will go ahead and stop this video. And then what I'm going to do is in my next video, I'm going to take this, um, all this work that I made, and basically I'm going to take this, and I think I'm just going to take this here, this one example, and uh, I'm going to go deeper with it. So I'm going to add 10 minutes for 50 minute essay, and then I'm going to add another 10 minutes for a 60 minute essay. You will not see the videos until the next few weeks. But what I am going to let you know, Right Writers, is I'm going to go ahead and record those videos now because, again, in a real-timed uh, test situation, you know, you get the 10 minutes right then. You don't get to think about what you're going to write about the next week. So I'm going to go ahead and take advantage of that, and I'm going to, again, in an effort to maintain that authenticity, I'm going to go ahead and write now, but again, you won't see the videos until the next uh, couple weeks. Uh, the next week and then the following week where I'll scale it up again 50 minutes and then we'll go to 60 minutes. Thank you so much, Right Writers, for watching this video. And I hope that my mistakes and my failures, failures, eh, <laughs> my failures will lead to your uh, to opportunities, positive opportunities and growth for you as a writer as you face your AccuPlacer Write Placer essay. Again, I will provide links to assist you and watch out students for which community colleges provide more time for the Write Placer versus other community colleges uh, which do not provide that time, you know, those 10 minutes may make the difference between, uh, you know, taking a remedial class and not taking a remedial class. So look out for those. Okay, take care, Write Writers. Um, back to me and the drawing board, and I'll be recording another video now and adding on. Until then, see you later, Write Writers. Hope this was helpful. Bye-bye.